Okay, so uh, welcome back. We are now in our next presenter, which is supposed to be uh, Mr. Magalis and Miss Panikan, but uh, it is only Miss Panikan that is here. So you are group number four. And again, the same procedure. You start by introducing who you are and then move on to the title, a brief background, and present your SOP, the methodology. You have five minutes and you will hear an alarm after your time has already expired. So, Mr. Magalius is here. He is uh, entering the room. Oh, yeah. So, whenever you're ready, Mr. Magalius, talagang uh, photo finish yung pagdating mo. Turn on your video. And then, again, as I was saying, kanino, kanino yung feedback? Ito may feedback. Malakas. We have a feedback. Oo. Okay na? Okay. And then, after the uh, five minutes or during your presentation, uh, you will be, you know, uh, ask questions and another reminder that I was not able to give the previous group please speak clearly uh, put your microphone near your mouth magsalita kayo ng malinaw kasi there are times na hindi nyo napapansin ang layo na ng mic sa bibig ninyo and we cannot understand or I cannot understand your answer Mr. Michael Magalis you're supposed to turn on your video during the presentation it's your group's turn Michael. Okay, anyway, we cannot uh, wait for Mr. Magalis to turn on his video anymore. So, Miss Panikan, you can start whenever you're ready. Okay. Good morning, sir, and good morning, everyone. Our research is about the effects of mother tongue-based language to grades 1, 2, and 3 of local elementary school. This is presented by supposed to be Mr. Mikael G. Magalis and your stream, Joni Rose and Tamiko. The background of this study. Mother tongue is the language that we are used to. It is commonly used at home and mother tongue usually depends on the location. Mother tongue is the new field of teaching. It is added to the subject to fasten the learning skills of the students. Ms. The term Ms. mother Panikan. tongue... Uh, yes, can sir. you maximize your screen so that we okay, can sir. clearly ano, maximize okay, the screen? Okay. Okay, na po. Yes, that's better. Okay. okay, continue. The term mother tongue was first used by Catholic monks to designate, designate a particular language they used. Instead of Latin, they, when they were speaking from the pulpit, that is the Holy Mother of the Church introduced this term and colonies inherited it from Christianity as part of colonialism. According to Bender, the benef Bender 2005, the benefits of mother tongue-based language may be more cost-effective than current monolingual models of education or education that is provided in language other than mother tongue. This is due to the increased efficiency that results when fewer students repeat and drop out. According to the ethnologies, there are 171 living languages spoken in the Philippines today. For the most part, this linguistic variety has not been accurately reflected in governmental and educational policies. Promotion of mother tongue in the Philippines also shows as an aid developing the K-12 program due to faster way of teaching the children. Under the new DepEd law, Mother tongue has become part of the curriculum that has that has to be taught in the elementary or primary years of the children. Mother tongue is now being used in many provinces, including including the school of the Cog Elementary School, where the research will take place. So, for our SOP, this study aims to determine the effect of mother tongue-based language to the grades one, two, and three. And one, two, and three pupils of Lokog Elementary School. Specifically, it sought to answer the following questions. How prepared are the teachers in implementing mother tongue-based language in the class? In teachers' perspective, 
how does the policy affect the academic performance of the students? And lastly, based on the findings, what strategies can be developed to improve the implementation of the mother tongue-based language? Okay, okay. For a while, for a while, I will uh, yes. interrupt. Where are you, Mr. Magalis? Where is your location? Uh, your mic is in mute. Nakamute ang mic mo. Yes. Sorry. Where are you? <laughs> yes. Uh, what's your location? Kalinga, sir. Kalinga, Apayao? Opo, sir. Okay. So, okay naman yung signal mo. Where are you located right now? Nasa rooftop ba yan? Opo, nung bahay namin. Kaya Can, can you show? Yes, yeah, I understand. Can you show us kung anong itsura dyan saan mo? Sa paligid mo na rooftop, patingin nga sa amin. Okay, and then may ano? At least maraming gubat, ano? Meron po, sir. Kapitbahay. Oo, oh. oh, oh. so at least you just stay tuned for ano, at least 3 to 4 minutes na lang and then after that, Pwede ka nang bumaba sa rooftop. So, I commend you. Saludo ko sa paghahanap mo ng signal para makapag, uh, makajoin sa presentation. Tuloy nyo lang yan. And then, anyway, nandyan naman si Miss Panikan. Kayang-kaya niya. Just uh, turn on your video and just join the discussion during the presentation. Okay? Uh, Miss yes, Panikan, you can continue. framework, this study is anchored on the effectivity of mother tongue-based language learning, which is related to the concept of Rosento and Hornberger's language planning and policy model. Okay, which derived... it's okay. Uh, you can uh, skip the conceptual framework okay, so and then go to the, what's the next part? Research methodology. Uh, yes, the research methodology. Our research methodology. This study used primary interview method of research. It uses the experience, experiences shared by the teachers based on the questions they answered. Open-ended questions were given to the teachers to give them the freedom to share their experience and to not limit them on one answer only. This technique helped the researchers to have a wider view on how, teacher, how the teachers see the effectiveness of mother tongue-based language in teaching grades 1, grades 1, and 2 of local elementary school. For our populations and samples, local elementary school is a school in the province of Kalinga or Cordillera Administrative Region in the municipality of City of Tabuk. This elementary school has been implementing the mother tongue based language policy. It is given that there are shortage in the numbers of the teachers in an elementary school, especially in a public school. In this case, the researchers used convenience sampling method. Convenience sampling method is a way of selecting participants based on their availability and willingness. Therefore, the teachers in elementary school were selected based on their availability and willingness to take the interview. Okay, uh, can I stop you on that uh, part? Okay. So anyway, can you just uh, go, go to the next slide, the instrument? So what instrument did you use? interview and interview which are the uh, researchers based uh, researchers based questions did, did you use uh, a questionnaire yes sir, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. okay. because of the pandemic we were unable to conduct a one on one interview and yes. because of the, of the poor um, internet connection in the area we were unable to conduct an online online interview as well so we just Sent it, uh, we just sent it to the teachers via uh, paper. Via paper? So like, not Google like, yes, form? Sir. Yes, sir. Like a modular... Uh, okay, okay, modular. okay. So at least you were able to... Uh, know. And then did you observe the uh, know, health protocols when you gave the papers? Yes, sir. It was sir Mikael who, was, who, were, who were the one distributed the papers. How many how many respondents did you use? Mr. We Anna? have... Magalis. Almost 10, sir. Okay. I have to sign, uh, sign with the teachers here in our province, sir. Okay. So I, and, let, and, I personally go in the school.
school and approach the teachers as well as the principal, sir. Okay. And then, ano ha, uh, did you observe the health protocol when you distributed the instruments? Yes, sir. Did you wear a mask and face shields? Yes, doc. Okay, so very good. You're very far away, Kalinga Apayao. Oh my. Okay, and then another question. Why did you use grades 1, 2, and 3? Sir, uh, sige, it is for, any one of you. It is where uh, the policy is implemented. It's, it's for grades 1, 2, and 3. Po. Mm -hmm. K to 3. Po. And then, then the the objective of your research is you're looking for the effectivity, uh, the effect, not the effectivity, the effect yes, of the effect. mother tongue based language. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So if you're looking for the effectivity, who would be your respondents? It should be the students, sir. The students, because they yes, can uh, know, attest if it is effective or not. What yes, do you sir. mean by the effect? Effect is what? Quantitative or qualitative? Qualitative, sir. Okay, very good. It is more inclined on qualitative. Very yes, good. Ma. Okay. And then, who would benefit from your study? For our study, the one who will benefit po, um, highly is the students. Mm -hmm. since, they are the one, um, since they are the one who are being implemented in the policy. And next is the teachers because they're the one who implements the policy and also the school administrators or school uh, higher higher uh, the one who's higher in the position in the school okay. because because in this time of uh, pandemic they were unable to literally monitor what's going on in the classroom so if we can give them some a view on what is happening on what on how does the mother tongue base is being implemented they can have an idea on how to improve it and how to uh, formulate strategies so what did, can help what did you use in your scope and limitation is it limitation or delimitation sir we use the limitation because um we because we decided okay. not to conduct the Initial the online interview okay. and, uh, uh, because we're we're limited to only um, allowing them to answer the, to shut down their answers on the paper. Okay. That's why we use the limitation. Okay, so uh, last question, Mister Magalis. Aside from distributing yes, the instrument, what what else was your role in the development of the research? For my role is uh, I interview the respondents or personally. And okay. Based from my observation with the teachers, they ha still have the uh, negative uh, feedback on this uh, uh, research uh, regarding the we call this one the effect of this mother tongue language. Why? As, uh, because first and foremost there is uh, this pandemic, so they can they okay. don't have enough uh, what we call this one. Uh, trainings and uh, seminars on how to implement this uh, uh, mother tongue uh, language, uh, especially here in our province, doc, that uh, uh, pupils from grades one to is uh, need the presence of the teacher yeah. explaining the mother tongue. Even if it's our own medium of instruction, still the kids or the pupils are not understand what is written on their module. So, mm -hmm. based from my experience and observation with my uh, nephews and nieces in their modules, still they need the presence of the teacher. So as a future teacher, I uh, explain to them politely on how to answer their module, mm -hmm. modular uh, uh, one subject, especially in our uh, medium instruction, they still they cannot understand the doc. So mm -hmm. I still uh, convince them to read and explain what I understand from their module. Okay. So real effect of this mother tongue that's implemented by the Department of Education. Okay. Your your local yes, is in Lukog. Where is Lukog? It, uh, it's there. Actually, it's in, yes, in the province of Kalinga. It's a far flung uh, school, sir. Is it far from your location right now? Uh, no, sir. Just only five minutes from our house. 
okay. to walking distance. So I personally go in the school and approach first the principal. Mm-hmm. And after the approval, the teacher already answered the questionnaire that I that we prepared with Ma- Ma'am Panika. Okay, so congratulations yeah. to your ano, presentation. Again, another very, very good presentation from the both of you. And again, let yeah. me... Let me, you uh, know, after the congratulations, let me inform you that you are recorded and you will be included in our uh, YouTube channel for the sample presenters. Also, whatever you're looking right now, yan yung makikita nila sa uh, YouTube, uh, ano natin, subscribers. Uh, especially students, Hindi lang sa high school, hindi lang sa college, even graduate schools, even teachers. Uh, so, para magkaroon sila ng idea pa paano ba ginagawa yung online research presentation and defense. So, I'm asking for your permission. Are you agreeing that uh, you will, ano, you will uh, allow me to present your faces in our YouTube channel? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, so thank you very much and uh, congratulations. I would thank like you, to sir. announce your grade also. Oh, so kanina nakakuha sila ng 99 yung unang presenter. Dahil extra effort si Mr. Magalis at pumunta pa sa rooftop para magkaroon ng signal at maka-join sa ating presentation. Tuloy mo lang yung mga effort na ganyan ha that will really be appreciated in Willano will come a very long way. So, I'm also going to give your group 99. Unfortunately, kahit gusto ko bigyan ng 100, uh, there <laughs> is still room for improvement. Kaya 99 yes, okay. yung ano ninyo. So, maraming salamat sa inyong dalawa and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, you can now turn you off your much, ano, video.